Russia and Ukraine settled. It would never have happened. I used to talk to Putin. I got along well with Putin. I used to talk to Putin about it. It's something he certainly had in his mind. Never even talked about it. For four years, you didn't even hear about it. As soon as I was out or left, or however you want to describe that catastrophe, they started putting soldiers on the border. But even then, he didn't want to do it. He wanted to get a piece. Now it looks like he'll end up probably getting the whole thing. But I've never seen anything like it, what's happened. And if you saw the other day with President Xi, smart, top of his game. President Putin, smart. Very smart people standing there talking about the world order for the next 100 years. That's one of the saddest things you can imagine, one of the saddest. I'm proud to be the only president in decades who did not start a new war. Everyone said, oh, he's going to start. He's going to start a new war. And it's no coincidence that the deep state is coming after me even harder since I pledged to swiftly end the war in Ukraine. So when I say end it, I'm going to get a settlement very quickly. And I know both people, um, and you can get it very, very quickly. You can only do it through the presidency, but you control the money coming in, coming out. You can get that. I will have that settlement done within 24 hours. Standing before you today, I am the only candidate who can make this promise. I will prevent World War III, which we're heading into, which we're heading into. We're heading into World War III, and this will be a war like no other. Not only is Biden courting nuclear holocaust. He's blowing up the U.S. economy with the Biden banking crisis, a disaster.